Damon McEnany, hello and welcome. Looks like the stands are filling up here at Durham Bowl. Couldn't ask for better weather than this. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the D Leathers 11 uh, gaming channel and the Cleveland State Vikings Lacrosse Dynasty. We are about to play our second to last regular season game of the season, and yet again, we're taking on a top uh, five opponent. This time, it's uh, we're going to be out in uh, Annapolis, Maryland, we taking on the number set, three Navy midshipmen. And we are up to number 14 in the country after our last victory over Marquette. So uh, really just another tough uh, challenge for us. Uh, this whole season we've kind of been taking on top ranked teams. Uh, so this game is no different. Just got to keep working. And uh, try and come away with the victory. So we try and set up our offense. Do the... Uh, Actually, I was having success with the uh, 2 2 2 last time, so I might try that. This Leathers puts a shot wide. I was going to say, it looked at also as if. Oh, all kinds of space. As he, I believe he did the uh, behind the back shot there. Very tricky shot by Yormick. Gets it started with the trick goal. Our next game, or and also the very last game of the season, is against uh, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, and they're number four in the country right now. So that game's not going to be any easier than this one. We are ready to resume play. It's one zero for the away In terms of uh, opponent matchup, but Varela on the plus side, we're playing a lot of teams that could potentially see in the NCAA tournament. Um, so it's good practice uh, going against some of these guys. It is looking pretty good that we're going to make the tournament. Even We could even potentially get in as an at-large, although I wouldn't want to count on it, certainly. So uh, we will have our conference tournament uh, in which we can secure our automatic bid uh, following the Rutgers game. I believe it will just be uh, semifinals and finals. Just to um, have to win two, two games, basically, to win the conference tournament. Scott Ratliff looks to clear. Here's Yormick. Oh, Estimara closely guarded. Oh, got the goal off, but just hit the circle. In other news, I noticed that all those rule changes for uh, NCAA um, lacrosse uh, went into effect. So we're going to have an 80-second shot clock, um, as well as dives into the crease being allowed. And I'm trying to remember what some of the other rules were. I'll have to go back and look at them later, but... And these are monumental changes to the game. It's going to be, like I said in a previous video, like really interesting to see. How oh, I nearly turn it over? Newfeld comes away with it. It's going to be really interesting to see how it does end up affecting um, the games. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, and that time, number seven just finds all the space in the world. Buries it top shelf. Oh, beautiful goal there. Cleveland State's off to a good start here, Play taking the 2-0 lead. Yeah, I had not actually played this game in a while. I've been a little busy, so I was uh, a little nervous. I might be a bit rusty, but uh, we're coming out flying. As Estimura, ball gets deflected out, and Estimura gets called for the uh, crease violation. But yeah, it should. I'm... Uh, I'm very curious to see about these new rules, and if you guys have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them in the comment section, so please let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the new rules, not a fan? Uh, it should be definitely an interesting season next year as teams get adjusted, for sure. So I'm looking forward to that, if nothing else. As Yarmick finds his second goal of the game. He went uh, top shelf uh, on the right side that time. Excellent goal. 3-0 Vikings now. Nice Sandor comes away with the face-off win. Comes out on top. This 2-2-2 set has really paid dividends for us. 
thinking we're going to stick with it. It really just opens up the middle. Second goal of the day for uh, seven there. This comes right over the middle. Navy not there to defend it. Cleveland State's flying here. 4-0 now. The away team wins the face off and they get a step. Anthony opening some space. There's a quick dodge in the midfield. Here's Braswell. Up. Oh. Down to Yormick. Oh, hangs the defender up behind the net. Not sure what the Navy defense was doing on that play, but they were nowhere to be found. And Yormick has a hat trick. Just a little over three minutes into the game. So the Vikings offense is flying. Four cinches it and the away team goes straight on attack. It's Reed Wagoner into the zone. Kenny Berry and save. Tried a bounce shot that time and uh, Navy goalie Ryan Klein is there to um, stop it. Jones. And he shoots. Ball the deflected off a the defender that time it looked Wide like. The goal with that shot. The destroyers come up with it. Daniels. As I tried to push him into the circle, got lucky the ball ricocheted off the uh, post that time. Oh, Navy just getting a little over, overly aggressive. And they turn it back over to the Vikings. Look to build on our 5-0 lead here. Barry McIlvain up the left side. Dump down to Yormick. Kicks it over to D Leathers. I think what makes this 2-2-2 two -two -two so great is it really spreads out the defense. And if they double team, Six. you can kind of see it from pretty far away and you're able to make them pay for throwing those double teams. So we look for space here. Normick dodging around. Mickelvin searching for a hole. He swings up top. Has time. Took a shot there. It wasn't particularly good, but there was not uh, a whole lot of room that time. One bad thing about the 2 2 2 is just going to leave the middle very empty. Oh, es Anthony Estemura comes away with his hat trick now. So Estemura and Yormick both have hat tricks. This is, that ball probably should have been really been saved by the Navy goalie. Drills in, but hey, uh, a goal is a goal in this game, so. It will count. That is a 6-0 Vikings now. Are an all -out battle for Two first quarter hat tricks. It's tough to write up a much better start than that. The Vikings will look to try and uh, advance their lead. Mr. had a pretty good look and uh, ricochets off the post. He was looking for his fourth goal that time. Oh, found space. Uh, quickly closed up though. Here's Reed Wagoner, dodging into the middle. Pretty good look from Wagoner there. Couldn't quite get it to go. Unable to stop the flood of goals as we head to the break. The coach, I'm sure, will be having stern words for his defense. The away team. We'll just keep this moving along here. To onto the second quarter. As I said in a previous video as well. Um, it is important for us in these games, even if we are winning, to try and get as many goals as possible because that's going to affect the rankings on the off chance that we end up losing in our conference tournament and we need um, to get like an at-large bid into the tournament, or the, the NCAA tournament, I should say, not our conference tournament. Um, you want to have as high of a ranking as possible. That time we give up our Navy's first goal of the game. He's really just left all alone down there. That's unsurprising he made that one. But yeah, goal differential definitely counts. Um, you know, in real life as well as in this game. So um, even games where we have comfortable leads, we don't want to sit on them. We want to continue to try and push and just score as many goals as we can to try and up our ranking. Oh, as I sloppily throw the ball away that time. So as good as we played in that first quarter, the second quarter is not off to a hot start here. Reese. 
Oh, nice save by Grant Koopman that time. Here's Sandor up the right side. Dila, there's dodging. Oh, found all the space and then bounce shot. Really nice effort from Leathers there from the left side. Just throwing it down. Nice way to respond to that uh, uh, goal and then uh, turnover. Brandon Price comes away with the uh, loose ball. Bring it up the right side. He can't quite get by the defender. He backs it out. Six. Even stay. We'll look to move it around now. Oh, Ferris finds a lot of space. Oh, and he d hits the bounce shot. Taking a note out of uh, Leather's book from that last play. Bouncing it right past the goalie. For some reason, was turned to the side. It was almost as if he hadn't yet adjusted to my offensive player's movement. And and Cleveland four. State now with the 8-1 to one lead. The away team wins the face -off and they get a step. Brandon Price wins it, and Estamura moves it up the field. Here's Logan Ackerson. Oh, is he almost the blew past the defender, score. but he's still able to net the goal. For the away team. Cleveland State really has it going now. Because that defender was just... Well, it looked like they switched at a really inopportune time, actually. So the guy who was supposed to be covering, covering Ackerson was just hung up behind the net. Meanwhile, the guy who was actually in position to make a play was just running to cover somebody to else. So it's nine, one for the Navy away. defense just all over the place in this game. Not looking like the number three team in the country by any means. But uh, Cleveland State can't worry about that. we got to keep focusing on trying to score as many goals as we can. Um, anybody who's been watching this season knows not every game has gone this way. We did drop contests to both Maryland and jo uh, Johns Hopkins, either of whom we could you know, see again and more than likely would see at least one of them again in the tournament. So it's games like these that we really need to... Um, Focus on just like Six. trying to do all the little things so that when we do get a uh, matchup with one of those teams again, uh, we're ready for it. Nice stop by Koopman that time. What a game he's so here's Wagner bringing it up. Yormick over to Braswell, over to Cade Ferris. Here's Wagner. Oh, he split the defense, not quite. Oh, Braswell. Find space. Oh, uh, his shot gets deflected by Patrick Walsh. But Navy throws a wild pass. Travels the length of the field. Right back to the Vikings. Here's Dwayne Pickett. Brandon Price. Navy putting a lot of pressure on in the midfield here. Cade Ferris able to find a seam. And here's Estamira. Dodges him into the middle. D Leathers. Anthony. Took a couple checks. Estimero finds space. Oh, shot just off from the net. I was going to say, we've been doing a pretty good job this game of putting shots on net. It's been a problem for us in a couple other games. Oh, Yormick beat the goalie to that loose ball, and then the goalie's completely out of position. Yormick gets very uh, easy goal that time. So really great... Um, Hustle play there, chasing the ball down, and then just putting it into the open net. Yormick getting his fourth goal of the game. Set and ready for the restart. It's 10-1 for the away team. Four wins it for the away team. Nickel Van getting the loose ball. Here's D Leathers. Oh, Leathers taking some shots in the back. 23. Wants it. Save. He's good. The destroyers will get a chance now. The away team have been sneaking a lot through this match, but they can't manage it this time. I almost got called for the offsides there. I was able to get back. Little. Little. Don't exactly like it when mid our uh, midfielders are 
kind of caught up in front of the net there. So we'll switch on to the long stick. Decent look from Navy that time, but he had the protection. Oh, and bad defense on my part there. Because I just got caught a little bit off the shooter. You can see I was recovering, but uh, not nearly in time. So we do give up Navy's uh, second goal of the game. 49 seconds left before the halftime break. Nice win on the faceoff. Estamira comes, comes away with the loose ball. We'll stay up probably have time for at least one more look here before halftime. Get a hold for the last shot. Unless we get something really wide open. It looks like we will. Estamira into the middle. And he buries his fourth goal of the game. This Navy defense is really just struggling today. The Vikings have had a few games this season where we've really clicked on offense. And so far in this one, we've looked really good on that side of the ball. A few defensive breakdowns, um, but all in all, a really nice uh, first half for us. So we win the faceoff. Look for maybe one more shot here. Estamira found his face, but that time uh, Ryan Kern makes a save. And then Navy chucks it right back to us. So 11 seconds left. Cleveland State can make a play here. Pass not on target. And the ball goes to the oh, ground. That was not the pass I was intending to make. <laughs> I was looking over the middle. But uh, we do turn it over. And that will probably be the half. It was 11-2. to two, Cleveland State going into the halftime break. Not a perfect half uh, for the Vikings by any means. But... Uh, I mean, the offense is, like I said, playing really well. You can see our time in possession, 78%. I mean, that's great. We've taken 14 out of 15 face-offs. Ball movement's been really good. I mean, it, I couldn't ask for much more on the offensive end. Um, you can kind of live with those little mistakes when you're having offensive success like this. And you can see, obviously, Estimer and Yorimic have just been huge. Four goals apiece. Um, so, yeah, we'll try and keep this uh, rolling in the second half. Play resumes. We're underway again we could really potentially uh, make up some ground in the standings if we're able to keep underway scoring goals at this now. pace. And we can um, the make our win or our uh, goal differential look really nice. <laughs> right as I say that, we give up a goal to the Navy. But even if we're able to maintain to some level the lead we've built up, um, I mean, that'd be pretty nice. We had a nice, um, I believe it was nine goal win over Marquette in the last one. So that definitely, uh, helped the cause. We threw the turnover that time, but I don't, I mean, uh, once again, I don't feel that that pass was anything that should have been, um, a turnover. Didn't seem, I mean, there's no Navy players in the vicinity. Navy really makes us pay for it as they come right down and score again. So this game is certainly not over yet. It is go. a seven goal game with, uh, uh, I would say about nine and a half minutes to go. Wins it for the so you definitely got to be careful against, especially against a team like Navy, number three in the country right now. I mean, obviously they've had a really good season. Not playing their best today, but this is uh, still a dangerous team. Switches, slides through, shoots, deflected. Nice save there. Braswell well saves it near the line. Sprinting down the middle. Shoots. Oh, the goalie saves it off his foot or leg. It looked like. Chance for them now. I really thought that was a goal, and that has to be it. Personal foul. A personal foul. Shove in the back. So we will get a short penalty. Time. So we're able to get a shot off in the sails wide. Ah, oh, Ryan Kern makes the save. Ryan. Six on six so Cleveland State, unfortunately, not able to make Navy pay for that penalty. Daniels. 
Oh, and our defense just too slow. Navy's on a roll to start this second half. They put up three straight goals. The players at the X are ready. Here we go again. It's 11 5. Four. Cinches it. Stamara scoops the loose ball. Straight on attack. And he shoots. Straight to the keeper. Cleveland State really needs to stop this run. 12. With a chance. I pulled the defender out of position that time. Got lucky. They pushed the shot wide. Kind of hang out in front of the net. Ryan gets the pass. Little drops a ball. Oh, wow. Unbelievable goal from Navy that time. Because he was fading away <laughs> from deep. Sama inexplicably makes it. If you have a good faceoff guy, it can be make it, take it, lacrosse. Dave Trim, Cleveland State's uh, advantage is five goals Wins now. Stephen Riley brings it into the zone. With the shot. Ooh, oh, and the goalie makes another like leg that save there. that time. We're getting good looks, but With the chance. not much you can do about that. And D Leathers finally He's stops the Navy shot. run. Two for him now. Second goal of the game, and that was a big one. Cleveland State really needed to get something there to just kind of stem this tide. Uh, pushes the advantage back up to six. It's 12 to six. Vikings now. The away team wins the face off and they get a step. Ah, too many defenders in the middle to find a shot that time. Not a good pass there on And we turn it over. It goes back to Navy. Cleveland State will look to get a turnover here or something. Maybe he's get, getting a little too many shots for my liking. Yeah, I was, I'm not sure where the, all the defense was in that time. I was pretty much the only defender left back, and there was two guys down there. Everybody's standing up at the top of the uh, top of the zone for some reason. You can see there were like four uh, Vikings up there. Not sure if they ran into each other or what on that play. Newfell comes away with the loose ball. Here's Jackson Braswell. So he goes dodging into the middle. Oh, that really would have set up nicely for Estemera to come charging into the middle, but goes off his stick. It seems like all of a sudden the Vikings are really struggling making what look to be routine passes to me. I mean, not sure if that's because of the All-American difficulty. It makes it harder to catch passes or something, but we're having all sorts of difficulties. As we get lucky, Navy missteps that time. It's like I'm almost afraid to throw anything longer than like a very short pass. For fear that it'll just go flying out of bounds. Oh, Yormick hits the post that time. We look to make some stick checks here. Shot goes over the uh, top of the net, and Mickelvane comes away with it. As we look to move the ball up the field, find Brandon Price. Down to Yormick, dodging away from the pressure. So you need to spread this out a little bit. Estemura, over to Braswell. Pretty good look from Braswell that time. Shot just goes a little over the top of the net. Oh, Stephen Riley tried to protect the ball, but it gets jostled away. Oh, and that time we get lucky. Navy hits the post. They had the man back, though, so they will keep possession. Logan. 
Daniels. I'm not trying to allow that pass in the middle. I'm finally able to intercept it. And that will be the end of the quarter, actually. So a really good defensive stand there for Cleveland State to end the quarter. Uh, ended up being a pretty rough quarter as we only got one goal to Navy's five. So uh, this game is not over, as you can see by the last quarter. Navy is a tough team. Their defense really picked up there. Goalie made some good saves. Um, we got to make sure that we finish this one out properly. Sandor takes his own uh, ground ball. Off his own face off. He gets it into Estimer end of the zone. Could not find the space for the shot there. Oh, got stuck with the uh, shot stick. Still held down that time. As D Leathers actually got the ball off the ricochet, but was not able to uh, get my. Uh, Finger off the shot button. The, the ball ricochets back to Navy. Things getting a little ragged here. Start of the fourth quarter. So we'll put two guys right in front of the net. Oh, a nice, very nice save by Koopman. Really good defense by the Vikings. Let's get it up to Logan Ackerson. Decent look by Braswell, but couldn't quite find the angle. Garment getting bumped outside. Oh, and we just get intercepted that time. Oh, incredible goal by Navy's long stick. <laughs> I mean, our defense was really in a good position. There were two guys in front of him and the goalie and still not able to stop the shot. So it is a four goal advantage now for Cleveland State. Three and a half minutes left. We might have to start playing more of a ball control offense to make sure that we don't end up actually lo losing this game. We just haven't been able to have as much offensive success as we had in the first uh, first half, Navy gets called for the uh, personal foul that time. We have a good uh, shot here to make something happen. Open look that time, could not find the net. Another open look, again we fail to find the net. Penalty is over. We're getting double teamed into the middle. Very nice shot that time. It almost looked to be a slow motion release. And that was a goal that we felt like we just really needed. The bumps our advantage back up to five. 13-8 to eight now, Vikings. Gets in first. <laughs> I almost let the ball bounce off the referee right there. Because we're getting pretty closely hounded in the midfield. Here's the Estimura. Brandon Alvarez. Looks for a long stick goal. Just puts it wide. Chris Smith from behind the net. As you can see, Navy's definitely throwing their double teams at us now. So we got to... With work to make them pay for that. that shot to the ideal spot. Goal. And we do right there. Anthony Estimura getting yet another goal. It's bouncing through the goalie's legs. 14 to 8 it Vikings now. Who will come up with this face -off? I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable that we're going to pull this one out. Four. Wins it for the away team. Oh, Not pass gets close. tipped that time. And it's I'll go back to the midshipman. Come up with the possession. Chance for them now. Shoots. Oh, the Navy attack has able to, been able to dodge away from us pretty effectively in this second half. Because we had him actually double teamed and he pulled away from us and got the shot off from the corner. 
tricky move that time by the attackman. Back to the face -off X for another scrap. Sandor wins every faceoff now is critical. They're starting to run out of time. Vikings just need to manage the end of this game. Which we'll see if they keep throwing double teams at us. That should make it a little easier. Oh, Braswell finding all the space he wants. Very nice. They sent the double team up top. I was able to just run away from it and the middle was left wide open. Excellent effort. It is 15-9 now. Wagoner getting the loose ball. Here's D-Leathers. Use what little stamina he has left to get it into the offensive zone. Trip Smith over to Stephen Riley. D Leathers. Yormick catches it up top and he's double teamed. And Navy is finally able to force the turnover. Good defense by the Vikings. This will just kind of look to work a little clock here. That was a little farther past than I would have really liked. Samara slinging up to Trip Smith. Stephen Riley. Beautiful goal that time. As we were really able to work it to the open man. So he gets it through the goalie's legs as well. Face-offs are an all-out battle for possession. Who will come up with it? 16 to 9 Vikings now. Just under a minute left in the game. And Sandor wins the face-off yet again. Here's Baron Mickelvane. The Vikings are just probably looking to slow it down here. Until we get that double team. Oh, Estimura. Pass got ricocheted. Oh, and I'm not able to get the pass off. I was attempting to get it away as obviously it was getting hounded there. Well, Navy comes down and beats us that time. So it's game probably out of reach at this point, but obviously midshipmen have not given up. They're going to play it out to the whistle. It's pretty typical of the service academies. Go straight on attack. And We're able to stop the uh, faceoff man from scoring that time. Goalie running around behind the net. Burgess. Cleveland State maybe look for one last shot opportunity That's in the waning it. moments here. Leathers. Winds up, shoots. The ball Not really a good ground. look there, but I was just trying to get something off. Come up with it. Two seconds left. Oh, Praswell With a big hit there. does get the shot off, but time expires. I don't think that last goal is going to count. Uh, but it's all good in the end. Cleveland State coming away with another big victory as we take down number three, Navy. Uh, final score of 16 to 10. It definitely uh, tightened up in the second half as Navy actually... Uh, beat us in the second half um, 8 to 5 uh, but our strong first half carried us through so we take a look here at some of the stats Jack Ray gets most valuable player but uh, Estimura um, had an awesome game with 5 goals and then Yorm with Yormick's 4 um, solid performances all around. You can see we outshot them. Our time of possession came down slightly in the uh, second half, but 74% still. That's very good. And our face-offs, you know, we dominated um, pretty consistently throughout the game. So I love to see that. Um, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, next uh, time out, it's our very last regular season game against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. And if they hold their ranking, they'll be number four, but um, 
They could climb even higher if Navy drops after this loss. So we're going to be taking on a highly rated team in Rutgers um, before we get ready for uh, postseason play. So, uh, again, thanks for you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, definitely like and subscribe uh, if you're enjoying the content. And we'll, uh, until next time, we'll see, see you guys in the next video.